Hello and welcome to this video. My name's Hayden McLennan and this is another network video. Hey! A network video! Woohoo! So this video is a really simple video. All I'm going to do is install my new switch. It is an Allied Telesis AT8000GS slash 24 gigabit rack mountable manageable switch. I think it's either layer 2 or layer 3. Layer 2 or layer 3 I should say. So I'm going to take out the old TP link there and uh, install it with this here with my trusty ratcheting screwdriver. Snap on ratcheting screwdriver. So what we need to do is open it up and take everything, unplug everything here. The funny thing with this uh, new switch, I'll unplug everything while I'm talking. The funny thing with the new switch is that everything's backwards compared to um, my old TP-Link in here um, as in the numbering system is backwards so the I mean it's still 1 to 24 it's just the 24 is down here and uh, everything else is up and, and the other bits are down here and so I'll show you in a minute once I've um, un, un, undid all of these So folks, here is the Naked Network Cabinet, I'll just adjust my microphone here. Here is the Naked Network Cabinet with nothing plugged in and just the Squitch patch panel and server in there. As well as um, cable management bar thing. So I have to switch over to a number 3 screwdriver here. Let's get that in short. Screw that back down. Chuck that in, chuck that to take out. <laughs> so here we go. The new one is quite a heavy and long switch. Actually, that's going to rest on the server, that's going to be quite nice. There we go. Remove the switch here. Gonna get caught up on there, isn't it? Unplug that, and here is the old switch. It was an okay switch, I'm just not too heavy with it. Uh, so, here you go. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. No, I'm not gonna sell it. When I uh, took out my old switch, when I did the upgrade uh, a few months ago, someone actually asked if they can buy, if they could buy my old Elotelesis. But um, I'd taken it apart and stuff, and <laughs> but it still worked, so bonus. Right, so I'm really excited. Let's get this slide this in here, please. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> it wasn't like the damn drawer or shelf. I found out when I was getting all excited and looking at stuff at the switch. Um, I found out that Allotelesis actually have a lot of um, sites all around the world. And here specifically, in good old Kiwi land, they actually have a, um, a site where they do development and stuff. And, oh, just a small wee town called Christchurch. So small, because it's like the hub of the South Island. So just a small wee town there. Which I think is pretty damn cool. That a reasonably big company like, um... Allotelesis, a big Chinese company like Allotelesis, can have a small, can have a development plant or office here in small New Zealand. So I just found that reasonably interesting. So here's my switch here. See what I mean? Um, it goes 1, 2 instead of 1, 2 on this and 24 is down here and 23 is there. So just a small wee thing that I noticed. So let's plug the internet in right down here just like that last night oh that's another thing i wanted to make a video on um the console for these damn switches sorry it's a bit messy but just be with me it works i hope <laughs> oh man losing it up there we go nice new switch and like I said, here is the old one. 
cool? Cool. So now, I know what you're thinking. Hayden, what are we doing at your desktop? Well, the reason you're at my desktop is because, like I mentioned before, this is a managed switch, so therefore you can get to it through an IP and configure a whole lot of stuff. And here we have the configuration! Who would have thunk it, right? So, this uh, over here is, actually I want to kind of get in close to that without, here we go. So this here is the configuration page for this uh, switch. Uh, so we have the name of the switch, the administrator, and we have the, um, uh, the, the what's it? Comments about it, and over here we have the IP address that you can configure and that you can configure in this page, uh, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. And if you're wondering, uh, the default gateway is your router's IP address. So if you have a PFSense router, that would be the IP address of that. And it's not, uh, yeah, yeah, that's all I want to say on that. And uh, you have your layer one, and you have your layer two. And uh, something that's really cool about this is if we go to utilities, we can go to cable test. And we can actually test the cables from the damn switch. My switch, other one is over there. But you couldn't do that from the other switch, which is really cool. Like, the G9 is my computer, and since it's going to something now, um, it, it knows the length of it, but it says less than 50 meters. But this one here, this is the internet in, so it's from the house to the sleep out, and it's, um, did I not do the webcam properly? That's going to annoy me. So, uh, you can do the, so this one here, number 24, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see away. So, number 24 is between 50 and 80 meters, which is about correct. It's about, um... Actually, no, that's not correct. It would have, it's less than 30 meters, but yeah. So you get my point, <laughs> even though that didn't demonstrate it very well. You get my point. So this is, hmm, didn't save the uh, time and stuff. I guess that's what happened when I powered it off last time. But anyway, you, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want any more information on the Switch, uh, you can leave it in the comments down below. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, that shows me and YouTube I'm doing a good job. Also, while you're there, hit subscribe. That really does help me out a lot. And um, if you have any comments on this, uh, make sure you leave them in the comment section below, or any questions, in fact. So, again, I just knocked my cable down. So, again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I've already said that. So, um... <laughs> Uh, make sure you check out the website www.myplaceonmyt.co.nz uh, Thanks for watching, I've said that like a million times now. <laughs> Alright, thanks.